Hey everyone, I want to show you how to do a couple of useful things uh, with your TI-89 calculator. We're going to store a couple of functions at once on the y equals screen, uh, these three functions down here. We're going to differentiate and integrate those functions easily uh, from the home screen, and then we're going to also evaluate those functions for particular values of x. And then at the end, I'm going to show you uh, another cool little trick we can do with variables uh, from the home screen as well. All right, so let's start by just entering the functions, right? Turn on the calculator go to the home screen, uh, go to the y equals screen, get rid of whatever's in there from the previous lesson or whatever work you were doing, and then just enter in the functions, right? So we'll enter in sine of x, we'll enter in 1 over the quantity x squared plus 9, right? and then we'll also enter in the quantity 1 over x squared plus k squared, where I'm going to use the alpha key, k, and square that. So now we've got our three functions, y3, y2, and y1. So second quit, go to the home screen. I'm going to show you how to differentiate and integrate them really easily. From the calc menu, right, to access that, press F3. There they are differentiate and integrate. So all we do is differentiate. Uh, let's say I want to differentiate y1. So I just type in y1. I have to include parentheses, x, close parentheses. That's to say differentiate the function y1 of x, right? Comma, x, that's to say with respect to x, and close parentheses, and press enter. Okay, and there's the answer, cosine. I can do the same thing with y2 and y3. So calc menu, differentiate y2 of x with respect to x, close parentheses, enter, and there we go, right? And now, since I've got y3 already stored, I don't have to go through and do all that again. I can just delete the two, enter in three, and then press enter. And look at that. It includes this variable in the um, abstract expression for the derivative, which is pretty cool. All right. So integrating is the same thing. From the calc menu, press F3, integrate, and we'll do the same thing. Y1 of x with respect to x, press Enter, and it will integrate it for you. So the integral of sine, of course, is negative cosine. What it does not do, and this is real important, is it doesn't add plus a constant. You still have to do that if you're an AP student. You have to include plus a constant. Okay. So that's integrating y1. Let's do it again for y2. Press F3. Go to integrate. Press Enter. We'll do y2 of x with respect to x. Close parentheses. Press Enter and it's arctangent of x over 3, all over 3, right? And then, of course, I can also do y3, which is this expression that involves some number k, right? And press Enter. And now it expresses this answer in terms of x and in terms of k, right? Now, here's something cool that you can do with this variable k. This vertical bar, right, that means when and then we can say when k is equal to, I don't know, uh, 3, right? Press Enter. Or let's say we want k to equal uh, 25, right? It'll automatically plug that in there for you. So you can create expressions with not only an independent variable x, but you can also put placeholder variables in there to see how the derivatives and the integrals change. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I hope you have learned how to use your TI-89 calculator to uh, make quick work of some of these problems. Remember, this is very helpful for checking your work. You shouldn't come to rely on your calculator to do this all for you, um, but it's definitely a good and quick way to check your work on your own. All right, have a great day.